A technical novelty in dental surgery, the minimally invasive sinus lift with the Yader system, developed by Dr. Klaus Eder, dentist in Vienna, Austria. The Yader system is CE certified, and it consists of the following three components. The Yader pump with control display, controlled by foot pedal. The Yader drill, the actual surgical tool. The tubing set that connects the Yader drill to the Yader pump. This is how the surgery will be done. Initially, punching the oral mucosa, then drilling the blind hole, and finally the secure first entry into the sinus by applying high hydraulic pressure. The sinus lift is done at the position 1-7. This will be a bridge, five, six half, seven, remaining bone height, six millimeters. Punching of the mucosa with the ATP punch, developed by Professor Wolfgang Yesch. The blind hole, up to two millimeters below the sinus membrane floor. Now the Gator drill is filled with physiological saline solution and fitted pressure tight into the bore. The pressure is built up to 1.5 bar using the foot pedal, but each step on the pedal only injects 0.2 milliliters. Therefore, high pressure but no danger for the Schneiderian membrane due to the small amount of liquid after the perforation of the bone. As soon as there is enough pressure, the drilling starts and is continued until the pressure drop on the display indicates the successful perforation of the bone. The high pressure pushes the membrane away from the drill. The membrane remains unscathed because the drill cannot reach it. The egg model shows how the membrane is pushed away from the drill. Additional liquid is injected using the pedal switch. The liquid vibrates in order to facilitate the detachment of the membrane from the bone. The vibrations in the liquid detach the membrane from the base of the maxillary sinus in order to generate space for the augmentation material. According to Pascal's principle, the pressure distribution is completely even. This preserves the membrane. When the membrane is sufficiently lifted, the saline solution is extracted using the Yader pump. The bone grafting material is inserted. Since the bore is narrow, a paste-like bone grafting material, for instance Austin, is used. Finally, the implant is set into position. The bone height could be augmented from 6 to 14 millimeters. The Yader system features the following advantages. Firstly, minimal stress for the patient. The Gator system requires no incision and no suture. The pain level for the patient is no higher than in case of an implant without sinus lift. Secondly, a secure first entry into the sinus. The dentist needs no osteotome. The first entry into the sinus is affected by using high hydraulic pressure controlled by constant monitoring via the display. Third, the maxillary sinus membrane is gently lifted. Fourth, easy to use. The surgery is monitored in real time and it is cost and time efficient.